From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big week here on LA Late as more stimulus checks are coming to Americans for 2023. These are February stimulus checks, and in this recording, we're going to go over how you want to check and make sure that you have all your stimulus checks lined up for this month. Stimulus checks A to C, E to K, L to Q, and therefore you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. In this broadcast, we'll go over these incredible 2023 stimulus checks A to C, and then we'll take a break and look at that incredible membership newsletter, how to get these huge checks, how to become a member. Then we'll go to stimulus checks E to K, L to Q, and then we'll jump into breaking news across the board. It's this. The CPI is being released tomorrow. I'm now giving the guidance on how much your benefits are going to be raised next year across the board. These are current estimates for tomorrow. We'll have them live on air and we'll analyze them in today's broadcast across the board. Michelle Bowman, one of the Fed governors, spoke about more rate hikes. What were her comments on the latest details across the board? In the big second half, we have Crypto Wall Street Live on Afternoons LA. Bitcoin down 1.6%, Ethereum down 3.6%, and MANA down 9%. Barnbridge is our breakout coin today. But we have a series of companies that said today that there's great consumer spending despite the recessionary pressures and the issues across the board. I have a lot of breaking news that came in in the last few minutes. This is since the morning's broadcast, which of course was brand new this morning. We'll go over the brand new details that came in the last few moments, the expansion of stimulus checks, the incredible news of that CPI tomorrow and where you're likely to see the inflation. We have breaking news on Meta, Facebook. We have all the breaking news on Zillow, which is real estate. It's just in the last few minutes. It's a brand new afternoon broadcast. Congratulations to the Chiefs and congratulations to the Kansas City citizens for their incredible win over the weekend. It's your day to win. The massive stimulus in today's broadcast. We're going to go over all that incredible money from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful week. And it's a beautiful money. We're going to go over all that and more from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's your afternoon broadcast. It's brand new. And it all starts right here, right now, on LLA for a beautiful February 2023. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. 2023 stimulus checks are law. I'm going to go over those incredible 2023 stimulus checks in today's broadcast. We're going to go over stimulus checks A to C. Then we'll go over the stimulus checks E to K that came from Joe Biden and the Congress. And then we'll go to stimulus checks L to Q. What a great broadcast we have today. I'm so excited for you. And over this broadcast, I'll detail which of the checks I like and why I think they're incredible. And then the big second half is Crypto Wall Street Live. What a show we have today. We're going to start first with these stimulus checks A, B, and C. All these stimulus checks you see on this graphic have the same eligibility. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSDI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSA. Veterans, low income, anyone who made less than 75000 last year, 150000 across the board. And how do you get them? I'm going to show you how in this broadcast. First, we'll go over stimulus checks A, B, and C. Then we'll take a break. We'll look at that incredible membership newsletter. Have you become a member? I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you that incredible membership newsletter. I'll show you how you do all these incredible items. And then we'll continue to stimulus checks E to K and then L to Q. In the big second half, we go over the comments from Michelle Bowman about interest rate spikes. We have the latest details on corporate earnings. And we also have the latest details on some breakout coins. Have you been watching and stalking them today? I think you have. I saw your comments. You're doing a great job. Big broadcast, big show, brand new. And Corporation says consumer spending is way up. We'll be jumping some live charts as well. Become a member. That's the pride of the membership of the incredible LA community. Let's start with these incredible 2023 stimulus checks. These checks on the screen are stimulus checks for 2023, and they all have the same eligibility. If you made less than 75000 last year, 
married couple, 150,000. If you're on SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, U.S. states and U.S. territories, as we go each of these, through each of these checks, I'll tell you which one I like and why I like it. Let's start it right now. Stimulus checks A, B, and C. These are stimulus checks passed by Joe Biden in spring of last year, and they're huge. And of those, B pays the most months of checks. You did a Purple Power. Congratulations. You should be so proud of you as a family member of this Purple Power community because you advocated for monthly MSCs and you got it. And stimulus check B, which is now paying on average 18 months of five checks per month, incredible stimulus across the board. It's stimulus check B. But before we get to B, of course, we got to do A first. Let's look at that beautiful stimulus check A. Wow. The stimulus check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check law for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories. How do you get it? Become a member, which we'll go over after stimulus check C. But B, of course, is that MSC that's paying out so many months of checks, and you deserve it. And it's just absolutely wonderful. It's an added membership newsletter, which we're going to go over after we go to stimulus check C. Next up is stimulus check C, which is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. And in that membership news, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say at 12 different places for that rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. It's fast stimulus. And what are the numbers you can get? $30,000 of rent is what you can get because that's what viewers are getting. Let's look at the big success stories that viewers have gotten from this beautiful stimulus check C. They're getting, on average, 18 months of rent or mortgage, and that is adding up to an enormous amount of money. And how much is it? Let's look at the graphic right now. $30,000 of rent. Wow. Great job. Congratulations, Nancy and Richard, Nisi and Elizabeth. Great job. And everyone else that's doing this across the board. And membership newsletter, stimulus check C, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places for rent, utilities, mortgage, this is more for 2023. This is passed. This is law. U.S. states and U.S. territories. Go get them. I'll show you how to do that membership newsletter in just a second after we're, after we're done with stimulus check C. Next up is utilities. Yes, now it's paying on average about 15 months of beautiful utilities. Excuse me, 18 months of beautiful utilities, but about $15,000 across the board. Get all your utilities paid, water, heating, oil, electric. And again, in the membership news, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Combinations of checks. Don't get just one check, get lots of checks. Mark going from 32,000 to 50,000. Then I told him to get more. And he went from 50000 to 100000 then 166000 And here's Nisi. She was at 23000 I told her to go get more. She went to 50000 And Lorraine, I told her to go more, get more, and she went from one hundred five to $155,000 of 2023 stimulus checks. And that has not been the ceiling because Dragon has gone to 170000 Johnny helped 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars. It's incredible sums of money. It is those stimulus checks, A, B, and C, law for U.S. states and U.S. territories. It's for you. Become a member. Go down that membership loser and get those incredible stimulus checks and a, as promised, Right after stimulus check C, I said we're going to go into that membership newsletter. Let's do that membership newsletter now as a family right across the board and see how it works. Step one, go into this video, subscribe. Subscribe to LA 1, 2, and 3. You're watching America's most watched financial news channel in the subject matter, getting people over $50 million in the last three years. Number two, LA is now number two in the United States for financial broadcasting news with three channels, LA1 and LA2 and LA3. But the same membership newsletter is for all three channels. Go under this video, join a channel, then go into that membership newsletter. So where is the membership newsletter? Let's look at the graphic right now. There it is. That's the membership newsletter. News.la.com forward slash newsletter. It's a website. And you don't even have to write it down. Why? Because at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of this video, and every other video on all three of the three broadcasting LA channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. Which channel are you currently watching? You're watching LA1, because notice in the lower left it says LA. LA2 would say LA2, and LA3 would say LA3. Same newsletter, same website, all three channels. Become a member and go right into that incredible news membership newsletter right now and go get stimulus checks A, B, and C. We're just at C. We've got more stimulus checks to go over. Final step. After you become a member, go into your 
YouTube community page, YouTube forward slash LLA forward slash whatever channel you are a member to, and every post on your YouTube community page has the most recent member password. Take that password and put it in the password protected newsletter and you are ready to rock and roll. It's a password protected website just for you. That's a private membership. Become a member right today and do it across the board. Now let's go to the next stimulus checks, E through K. E through K are the incredible stimulus checks that are passed by Congress after Joe Biden and they are just wonderful. And E was expanded by the Biden administration a week ago. Let's look at those incredible stimulus checks right now. Stimulus checks E through K. Again, it's same eligibility as A to C. Let's look at them right now. Stimulus check E, $7,500. Wow. Expanded by the Biden administration two Fridays ago. F, $4,000. Love it. G, 30% off H, $2,000 stimulus check. Wow. I, a generous $8,000 stimulus check. K, J, a great $8,000 stimulus check. And K, a $14,000 stimulus check. So there you go. A to C from Joe Biden, E to A from Congress, all from last year. Still law. The way that laws works is that so long as they're still funded, they're still active. In addition to those stimulus checks, I'm always finding you more checks. L and M. L is $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. M, a $4,000 stimulus check. N, brand new computer, tablet, laptop, free internet. You heard me right. That stimulus check N like Nancy. O, zero down payment, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage. And P and Q, 3% refi and a Q and $8,000 stimulus check. What is the largest of my stimulus checks? It's stimulus check R, and it's coming up tonight in prime time on this channel. Stimulus check R is the employee tax retention credit. It is over half a million dollars of stimulus. I have checks for children. I have checks for repairs. I have checks for all different things. They're coming up tonight across the board. It's in prime time in tonight's broadcast. Have you become a member? Do it right now. Go into this video. Join the channel. Welcome to all the incredible brand new members of all three channels. The same membership newsletter functions for all three channels. Go right into it right now. Grab the password for the most recent post on your YouTube page. If you got an alert about this video, it'll say new video and it'll say current password with a hawk. And you take that current password, which is updated every morning at about 9 a.m. my time. And you take that current password and put it into the password protected newsletter and you're ready to rock and roll and get some beautiful stimulus checks a, B, and C, E to K, L to Q. And in tonight's Prime Time Podcast, we'll go over those other stimulus checks. Again, that membership news is at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of the video. So the largest of the great checks is, of course, B, that's paying 18 months of an MSC. You got it. We got home repairs. We got the computer, the car. We got a lot of deliciousness. And it just keeps on getting better across the board. Do not wait to become a member because all these incredible sums of money are there. And why is it important? Because of this. And tomorrow, the Consumer Price Index is released. The CPI, you know what that is because we have featured on this channel for nearly three years. And this is what's lined up for tomorrow. A CPI of a 0.4 rise higher than the prior month and a 6.2% higher inflation year to date. That seems like a lot. I'll analyze why it seems like a lot in the big second half. Plus, we have the comments from Michelle Bowman, one of the Fed governors that came in this morning, and she said more interest rate spikes could be coming. I'll have comments from 215 that was released minutes ago. And corporations say consumers are spending really well despite recessionary issues. I'll analyze that in the big second half. Plus, we'll be jumping into some coins and our breakout coins. And as promised, I have some brand new details that came in in the last few minutes since the morning's broadcast. And those breaking details concern Zillow, Meta, Facebook, of course, and some other surprises across the board. We're just getting started on a big broadcast left and right. Here's a preview of what's coming up in the big second half. When that CPI is released tomorrow for inflation, it's important for so many reasons. One, it gives us an indication of how much your benefits are going up next year. Remember, your benefits are tied to COLA, and COLA is tied to inflation. So if inflation is still around by the middle of this year, then your benefits will go up again next year. I'll analyze that with you again in the big second half. It's getting really exciting. Then we'll be cutting back to why 
those companies believe consumer spending is still there. And I'll be analyzing why more layoffs is sometimes good news. And finally, the big story for tomorrow, inflation. I'll give you my guidance on where the inflation will be. And I'm going to look for you to jump in the live chat and tell me, agree or disagree. Do you believe inflation and certain components of this economy will be still around tomorrow? Or will they be wiped away? <laughs> it's a big second half. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started and more stimulus across the board left and right. I'm so excited you're here. Become a member because all this money was set aside for you. You deserve all the sums of money. We got a lot to go over and we're just getting started. It's a great day. I'm so excited you're here. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as a brand new broadcast of Afternoons LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. Good afternoon, and we have a big second half. It's even bigger than this morning's broadcast. On this morning's broadcast, we were talking about our breakout coins. We were talking about the market up 291, that you see in the red ticker. And we're also talking about the NASDAQ up about 138. We'll be jump checking back in the market. Plus, we're jumping to some live charts on this broadcast. Ouch, that is a down. And we'll be looking at some breakout coins. Plus, we'll be looking at what happened just last few minutes and what Michelle Bowman said today as well. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we got a big second half. I'm excited you're here. And I know it feels like I started jumping into the big second half earlier in this broadcast because there is so much going on. How are you doing? It's a great day. And congratulations to the Kansas, Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs with yesterday's game-winning Super Bowl performance. So... Stimulus has been expanding in the United States left and right. Of course, that expansion was detailed over the weekend, and it's, of course, stimulus check E. But what's getting really exciting is tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, the Consumer Price Index is released, and why is this big news for your wallet? Because this will give us guidance on how much more your benefits are going to go up next year. If you're new to this channel, let me go over how this works. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA. Cost of Living Adjustment, C-O-L-A. And it's determined by another number, which is in part the CPI. COLA is determined by inflation, and inflation is determined by the CPI. Now, COLA, your benefits go up every year based upon three months of inflationary data. The summer months, not these, not these winter months. But you want to see where we are right now to get an indication of how much more your benefits would go up next year. They already went up exactly as I predicted this year based upon last year's COLA and inflation. So what are we looking at right now? Well, you know, about four or five more months to the middle summer months to determine how much our benefits will go up next year. Let me make this clear. This would be an addition to how much they were already raised for January. So they were already raised for January. This would be a raise on top of that starting next January. It gets really good on this show, doesn't it? So let's look at some of those numbers and what Wall Street is expecting across the board. So tomorrow, the Consumer Price Index is released for the prior month. And again, they're looking at a 0.4 month-to-date rise and a 6.2% year-to-date rise. Oh, my goodness. That is huge. 
<laughs> that is huge. Hold on. Hold, hold my seat there. Wait a second. They're predicting a 6.2% year-to-date raise of inflation in tomorrow's CPI. Was it not just four months ago where it's saying, you know, come 2023, you are going to have basically flat inflation and your benefits are not going to go up anymore, maybe one more percent. Well, not at the moment, because if, if this was, remember the months that determine your benefits rise, June, July, August. If this was June, July, August of 2023, your benefits would go up another, 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 underline it, another 6.2% for 2024. So this is getting very exciting suddenly out of nowhere. Investors are looking forward to that consumer price index data coming tomorrow. On Tuesday, I'll have it live on air. The Dow is looking at a 0.4 month-to-date rise, but a 6.2 year-to-date. What are the key components of that inflationary data that's at issue? Really, let's go over the details of them right now. It is wage inflation. It is, it is uh, rental inflation. And it is not so much ever the food inflation, which has come down. So if those components are still around, you could really see the 6.2 hit it really on the nail tomorrow. The question is whether that's going to be around by the summer of this year. If it is, that means your benefits, SSI, SSDI, SSA, your retirement checks would be up, go up another, I'll say that again, another 6.2% on top of its current raise. And that, start, that would start next year. Incredible news across the board. We had some corporations that spoke today about the consumer spending. I want to go over their comments, and you can see a familiar word. Corporations say, despite the recessionary worries, consumer spending remains resilient. This is not a paraphrase. I'm going to read each quote, and you can see a reoccurring word. MasterCard. Consumer spending remains resilient despite seasonal patterns. Ralph Lauren, our consumer remains resilient across all our channels. <laughs> they like that word, don't they? They like that word. And it continues to roll out. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes taste great and it remains resilient, says Kellogg's. Kimberly Clark, our consumer remains resilient. Clorox, our, our consumer remains resilient. Goodyear, our consumer remains resilient. Well, there you go. I guess you're resilient. <laughs> Michelle Bowman, she's one of your Fed governors. She spoke minutes ago. What did she say? We're going to remain resilient on some interest rate spikes. No surprise there. Her latest comments came amidst question whether we'll have more interest rate spikes this year. Of course, we will. That's because of the inflationary data that comes, of course, tomorrow. What did Michelle Bowman say today? She said the Fed is far from its inflationary goal and more rate hikes are likely. We're still far from achieving price stability, 2% inflation. And I expect it will be necessary to further tighten monetary policy, raise interest rates, to bring inflation down to our target goal, 2%. While there are costs and, and risks associated with it, I see the costs more import, more uh, lesser than the negatives. Those comments came from the American Banking Association Conference in Orlando, Florida, minutes ago from Michelle Bowman. So there you go, really getting interesting across the board. Now, we have a lot of other stuff that came in in the last few minutes, as promised. I don't have graphics for these, uh, and I'll get to crypto in just a second. But let me go with some breaking news that came in just minutes ago. This is brand new. You did not hear this since this morning. So Evercore ISI has upgraded Zillow Group, the real estate platform, of course. They say it can go, jump, go up 40%. Wow based upon a rapid recovery in the housing market. This is jaw-dropping. Zillow could jump, go up their shares, appreciate 40%, based upon a rapid recovery that may be underway in the housing market right now, says Evercore ISI. This is a comment by its analyst Mark Mahani minutes ago, where in a significant part of the macro here, and we may be already starting to recover, and we may be doing it very soon. This is jaw-dropping. I mean, this is really surprising. Am I surprised by it? Yeah, I am. Uh, Meta, <laughs> surprised by this one now. Uh, technology for 2023 will be laying people off to make sure they have more profitability. You can see the storyline all the time. It does not mean they're not profitable. It does not mean they're in trouble. It does not mean a recession. It just means they're trying to get more profit from what they're doing. And Meta announced further, Meta could announce further layoffs. They did not announce it. It came from Financial Times. It's a report. It's not an official statement from Meta. And Mark Zuckerberg originally said, this is the year of efficiency. That is a quote from him. Bank America's Justin Post analyst said, um, he believes more layoffs could come 
The company has 76,000 employees currently, and it could go as low as 58,000, which was two years ago. That sounds efficient. That sounds efficient. Uh, you know, are you gonna are they gonna trim that much? Where are they where are they gonna get the extra workers from? The metaverse? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have they're gonna have some metaverse characters walking around doing the work. Uh, Zillow, familiar subject. Here we go again. And now they actually did announce additional layoffs. Uh, excuse me, Twilio. <laughs> Twilio announced two percent um, additional layoffs, fifteen hundred. That's cutting another seventy percent of its workforce. An email from its uh, CEO Jeff Lawson Moses ago obtained, obtained by Light News says these changes hurt. Mm. Yeah, but the stock apparently likes it. Bank America upgraded Ralph Lauren on from buy to neutral. Upgraded Ralph Lauren from buy to neutral, saying the apparel has moved away from its peers and it could do uh, could have a uh, do, do great stuff. We've upgraded Ralph Lauren to reflect our confidence in strong revenue trends, given the brand's global diversification across the board. Says Christopher, Christopher Nardone in a note obtained by Light News minutes ago. Wow, getting really exciting. Recession? No, there's no recession. We're not in a recession. We're in a bull market. And it clearly indicated now in that housing report, which we just saw. Now, let's jump into the crypto spring. We're clearly out of crypto winter, but we're so darn close of potentially falling back into crypto winter. Oh, ouch. Lord. Um, this graphic should look familiar. It's a live chart, but it looks a lot like how it's looked for the last four or five days. Every day we're testing our lows. We're testing our crypto winter lows of three months. This is today's chart for Monday, and it's right now. It's live, and it's troublesome. Let me jump in the live chart with you right now. We're looking at Bitcoin one-day chart. You know it's one because it says one in the upper right, and it's underlined blue. Platforms Gemini. And what do we see there? It's red, so we're down. Let's look at the one month. Okay, so we went from one day to one month. How concerning is that? It's down. Let's go to, excuse me, one week. Let's go to the one month. So how concerning is the one month chart now? So the one month is nearly testing the lows of the month. It is broken under the support level of the week. And it's heading towards the support level of the month. The support level, where do you find it? You look all the way to the left and you look at the lowest low of this graph, this chart. It is the one month. How do we know we're looking at one month? You're looking at Gemini, Gemini.com, one of the platforms. And upper right, I've underlined 1M. That's one month. It's a green, so we're off for the month. But the current price is, the, is all the way at the right. And how low are we? We're right here. I'm in the mouse. I'm in the chart right now. We're 21,600. And we're testing this low all the way to the left. And this is troubling. This is crypto winter, 20,800. So again, we're right at the edges of support level for crypto once again. It's been a subject matter on the channel every single day for nearly two weeks. We're really testing these one-month support levels, which are really right about here, 21,200. 21,200. How close are we right now? $400 away. We're at one-month support levels. Let's look at three-month support levels. So... We're not testing three-month support levels, but that shows you why we have to hold the one-month support. If we break lower than the one-month support, then we could fall all the way back down to the left side of this chart. We ran all the way up, and then ran all the way up, and now we're starting to come back down. You don't want to fall below that support level on the left. Let me jump on the chart right now. It's right around here, 20,800. If we break on that support level, then what happens? Oh, free fall. Free fall, 17,800. Don't want to break under that support level. We need to hold that support level for Bitcoin. And we've been doing it so well so far for three months. How hard has it been for the last week? Yeah. You see how this broadcast is breaking news right now. We have broken under the one-month support level. Almost. Have we broken under the one-week support level? Oh, yeah. You know we have because it's red. If we're if we're red on a one week chart, we're lowest low of the day of the of the entire week. Let's go back to the one month. How how close are we to turning this chart to red? This is a one month chart. One M upper right. We're just 
a few hundred dollars away. We don't want to break under the support levels. Because again, then we're going back to crypto winter. We are crypto spring right now. And I believe we're heading to crypto summer. I believe we're in a bull market for crypto. Let's look at some coin numbers that started the day across the board. We started the day with Bitcoin at 21,590, again at that support level almost. Ethereum at 1477, down 3.67%. And Decentraland, down 9% at the start of the day at a, six, at a 62 cent price. We want to hold those support levels because if we break under them, big question mark across the board. Really, really big question mark of where we could be heading. Did we have a breakout coin this morning? We did. It was Barn Bridge. What is a breakout coin? A breakout coin is a coin that gives you an opportunity to make a potential 16%, 15% for the day. Get in and get out and do it again with another coin or maybe the same coin another day. What did Barn Bridge show us this morning? It shows the opportunity to get in at a potential right now of about a sixty, uh, about a five dollar coin, run it another sixty cents up, get sixty percent, and get out. And this is our breakout coin of the day. What are we looking for breakout coins? What is our approach? What is our what is our skill set? What is our mindset? So we want to get a 16, 15, 14% return, get in, get out, do it in less than a day, less than a few hours, and then repeat the process. We're not holding the coin. We're not marrying the coin. We're trying to make our income, get in and get out, maybe do with another coin, maybe the same coin, maybe the same day, maybe another day. And what are our parameters on this? We like a coin that is over 30, 40, 50 cents. I love coins over a dollar. I adore coins like $5, like Barnbridge. I mean, this is even easier. And I want the coin that's already up 15%, and I want to run it and get out. I'm not going to hold it. I'm going to get in and get out and make income on it. It's an income approach to investing. It's not a hold and an appreciation approach. And how do you find it? You jump to a platform like a Gemini. You jump into the third column. You click that third column, and it'll re-rank the coins based upon the best and worst performing. Let's do it right now. So I'm clicking it right now. Now they're all red. Let's click it again. Now they're all green. So that shows us the best performing coin right now. And what are, our, what are my parameters? I like coins that are over 60 cents. I adore coins over a dollar. I adore coins over $3. And I want to be able to get in and get out with like a 15% return. And the coin has done this for me before. Then that makes it even easier across the board. Generally, I feature three coins. But today, I really only have one. And so far, it's doing pretty well. The rest of the market, Ethereum, down 3%, and Decentraland down about 10%, Bit down about 2% across the board. What's coming up tonight on prime time in Evenings Allied? Well, we got a lot going on. And the big one is, of course, that consumer price index number tomorrow. Let me go over what's going on with inflation because this is very, very fundamental because a lot of people don't understand really what is inflation. And they always think inflation is something which <laughs> is not. Uh, inflation has a lot of different components. And I'm going to ask for you to jump in the live chat right now and interact with me. Tomorrow's consumer price index number concerns consumers' inflation, what you're spending for items. And I believe certain items will be dramatically down, but other items will still be hot. So I'm going to ask you to write hot or not <laughs> in the live chat. You ready? Uh, groceries, hot or not? Not. Groceries have finally come down. I featured over the weekend. Groceries are back down to those beautiful pre-inflationary uh, numbers. I just love it. Every time I say it, I just I feel wonderful about it. Uh, you know, peanut butter is no longer $10 <laughs> For a can of peanut butter, it's just, you know, uh, inflation is, is, is hatched. It's gone. It's gone. So grocery inflation is gone. Um, but what about salary inflation? Still hot. Salary inflation still hot. Rental inflation still hot. Services inflation still hot. Travel and leisure inflation still hot. So the the big issues is that we don't have housing inflation under control. We don't have rental inflation under control. We don't have salary inflation under control. But we do have the things that you and I are impacted most by, which is lobsters, <laughs> uh, which is bread and butter. That Finally, that grocery inflation is coming down. A lot of analysts have been saying great things today, and I'll repeat some of the comments, which is that if you can't get the rental inflation down, we're still going to have inflation, which is very basic. Yeah, if you can't get the rental inflation down, we're still going to have inflation. And who determines the rental inflation? The landlords. 
And the landlords listen to Michelle Bowman? Of course they're not. <laughs> Didn't listen to me. They're not listening to me either. So we we got the grocery stores to realize we're not buying their overpriced peanut butter. And they said they're not showing up. I got to cut the price. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the landlords, they rather leave it vacant because, you know, you're not paying their crazy rental prices. So we're going to see a lot of interesting stuff tomorrow. I believe you're going to see rental inflation still there. I believe you're going to see salary inflation. I believe you're going to see services inflation, but you're not going to see grocery inflation. And a lot of your commodities will be back to normal. Get all that incredible stimulus. You deserve it. Become a member. Membership link is under the video. Join the channel. Go right into that membership newsletter. Again, that membership newsletter is at the top of the chat. The pinned comment and the description of the video. Here it is right here. And start getting all this incredible stimulus. And you'll also see the latest breakout coins and the latest analysis across the board. Three broadcasting channels and three live shows. Let's go over them one more time right now. You're currently watching probably LA Light. As it says in the lower corner, this way, <laughs> this corner, LA Light. There's three broadcasting channels. LA 1, LA 2, and LA 3. You can't miss it because it says it actually in the lower corner. The live streams start every night at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Channel 3 with Crypto Wall Street Live. It's at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to look for you. Join me then. Then at 5 o'clock in prime time on this channel, L8 is America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's L8 at 5 o'clock on Channel 1. And then on Channel 2 every night at 6 o'clock is Stimulus Live from the shores of Santa Monica, California. You're doing such a great job. Congratulations to all the incredible brand new members. Get all these sums of money. Get education, get it better, get your financial freedom, and get your deliciousness. If you get a Super Bowl's ring as well, well, that's that also helps. <laughs> but the shores of Santa Monica, California, stay informed, stay focused. You're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of it. Keep on doing everything you've been doing and inspire other people across the board. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more. <laughs>